Good morning, boys and girls. The purpose of this video is to help you understand exponents. This lesson can be found on page 10 in your book. It is lesson 1-3. You are going to need your red math journal. You're going to need your red math journal. You're going to need to set aside two pages of notes. Um, what I want you to do is to first watch this video, just watch it, then you're going to need to watch it again and pause it or stop it and copy my notes exactly as they're shared with you today. I'm going to share my screen with you. So let's take a look. Um, right now, I just want you to listen. Just look at it, okay? Um, the second time you watch this, I want your notes exactly like this. Okay, so for example, exponents. This is two raised to the third power. What it means is two times two times two, which is eight. It does not mean two times three. This is a common error, common mistake. So it does not mean that. Now these parts have names, so let's look at it here. Here's another example. Sometimes when you're working with exponents, someone will notice, oh, I see you're working with exponents, but they have individual names. This number down here is called the base. This number up here is the actual exponent, okay? This is four raised to the third power, or four to the third, four to the third power, four cubed, we'll get into these different names, okay? But what I want you to know now, this is four raised to the third power. And again, what it means is the base, number four, is going to be multiplied three times. Four multiplied by itself three times, okay? I want you to now look at this table that I've made. Um, 10, it's really easy to see this with tens. Sometimes it's a little more difficult with other numbers. So let's start with one we're familiar with. Take a look at 10 squared, 10 to the second power, 10 to the second power. What this means is 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, so, well, that means this one must be 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And this must be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10,000. I want you to space, pay special attention, 10 to the first power, 10 to the zero power. This is always where students get a little bit confused. They say, how can that be? Okay, so 10 to the first power. If there's two tens there, then this must just be one 10. So you'll see that anything raised to the first power is itself. So then you must think, okay, well, what's 10 to the zero power? 10 to the zero power, people often wanna say it's zero. Take a look, okay? By rule, by rule, and you go, what do you mean by rule? By rule, anything to the zero power is one. Here's where the confusion is. Let's clarify this right now. So that by rule, anything raised to the zero power is going to be one. But let's prove it mathematically. Take a look at it like this with the numbers, the tables that we're creating here. 10,000 divided by 10 is 1,000. 1,000 divided by 10 is 100. 100 divided by 10 is 10. And 10 divided by 10 is one. It is not zero. So it, that rule can be proven mathematically. Okay, let's look at it and I could have done 10 to the third. Let's scoop this up. Watch this again. Okay, let's take one that's easy. Three to the second power. What that means is three times three. 
to give myself a little space, it equals nine. This one here, this is three times three times three, which equals 27. How about this one? Three times three times three times three, 81. Let's come down. So then you look at three to the first. Anything raised to the first power is itself. Anything raised to the first power is itself. You could even come over here and go, it's going to be itself. So it must just be there by itself. And then remember this rule. Three, anything raised to the zero power is one. Just go like this, put a dash. Go, I know it's going to be one. Again, the confusion is how could three to the zero power be one? Here's where it shows itself mathematically. If you divided 81 by three, you get 27. If you divided 27 by three, you get nine. If you were to divide nine by three, you get three. And if you were to divide three by three, it proves itself mathematically how three to the zero power would be one. You will need either a second page of notes here, or if you're writing small, this will be on your notes when you rewrite these, okay? I want you to write these notes. Ready? Because these are the ones that students get a little confused on. So we want to write these ones down. It reads exponents. Any number raised to the first power is itself. Example, two to the first power is two. Seven to the first power is seven. 10 to the first power is 10. Then I want this note in there. You're gonna copy this down, just like that. Any number raised to the zero power is one. Example, eight to the zero power is one. 17 to the zero power is one. So is 10 to the zero power. What I want you to do is to get your journal out, watch this video again, and stop where you need to and copy these notes exactly as I've shown you. So depending if you write small, you may have one or two pages of notes, okay? That will be your first page. And then I want this down on the bottom because these are, these are often troubled spots. Our next lesson will give you some examples. So this should be your first video in our series of understanding exponents.